Thank you for James. Thank you that he's a word sent from heaven. Thank you that he will not go back up until he succeeded in what you sent him to do. And I pray for every single person in this room. Don't fall for the lie. I apologize to you that the church has lied to you, but I'm telling you, that whole relevant, be relevant, make people like you, nonsense. This isn't a place to become millionaires. This isn't a place to have huge crowds and everybody like us. When I was a boy in Minneapolis, I watched a man named Richard Wormbrandt speak. My parents took me. I sat on the front row. I was, I was with my parents today and they said, they, they always tell me this. I sat on the front row and there were all kinds of other kids there. And he spoke for three hours at a whisper. And they said that all of us kids were like this. We never wrestled around. We never moved. Just listen to this old man that could hardly get to his own chair. Never speak be up, be above a whisper. And we all listened. It was so powerful. Man, Lord, give us those days again in the church. We can have wisdom and understanding. And old men speaking to us and giving us wisdom. And young men learning. Give us the day when we can, as young men, blow it and make mistakes and have some old man say, it doesn't matter if you made a mistake. Because this isn't capitalism. We don't need you to be perfect. We don't need the people to like you. What happens then? Then the only thing that matters is purity. Purity of heart. Purity of motive. What are we really here for? So will you pray for me? And I'm going to pray for you. Okay? Lord, we lift each other up. We ask that in this day, in this hour, I don't really believe that this is a bad time at all. I just have the sense that this is an awesome, awesome time. Lord, I'm seeing all over the body of Christ awesome, unbelievable fathers and mothers that you are raising up. Teachers in the Catholic Church, the Lutheran Church, the Episcopalian Church, the Orthodox Church, charismatic leaders. And the Lutheran Church, we're seeing it all. And there's these awesome, unbelievable people, God, that are being raised up. That are they're, they're, they're not after all this. I don't even know what it is. They're just giving us the truth of your word. And letting us see you in a way we've never seen you before. Jesus, I feel like I'm just getting to know you and I'm asking on behalf of my brothers and sisters that this would be a year when nothing would get in the way between them and you. Every time they feel blinded, they'd allow those things to be taken away so that their eyes and their heart can be opened more. I want you guys just to pray for us and our team too. Just begin to pray on our behalf. Lord, we ask for each other right now. We pray and we ask for each other that we wouldn't be afraid. That we wouldn't live according to this world system. That we wouldn't live according to the system that's in, it's, it's a world system. It's in the church, it's in, it's in bars, it's in schools. God, we pray, we pray right now. We just, we ask, Lord. That the kingdom that is here, Lord, that we would just let it come. That we wouldn't be the violent people trying to destroy it and keep it from coming. We want you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. Just begin to ask, we want you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. 
Bring up the issues in my life that are holding, holding me back from all of you, Jesus. We want you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. I want all of you, Jesus. Lord, help us as parents. Any of you parents and dads, will you stand with me? Father, stand with me. Help us as parents. Let's pray this together. Help us as parents, Lord. I don't want to hinder my son. I don't want to hinder my daughter by my own opinions. And I don't want to hinder my son and my daughter by being afraid to speak the truth. Lord, give us the wisdom that we need. Will you pray that with me, guys? Give us the wisdom that we need. This is an unbelievable time. Give us the wisdom to know when to be silent and when to speak. Give us the wisdom to know. Give us the wisdom to know. Jesus, we want all of you. We're born, we're born of spirit, we're born of water, we're born of blood, we're born child of freedom, child of promise, a child of God. Let me just bless you with this one last thing. Those words that come to us, those crosses that we carry... Just look around in your life at people that have carried crosses. It's like they have wisdom or they have understanding of some sort. That can't be birth. You can't just get it by somebody praying for you. It just doesn't work. When I wrote this song, it's called Dear John. I called up a friend of mine that worked with me on early projects like uh, Dying Star and Jacob's Dream. And he had just had a son named John. Jonathan. His son Jonathan was in the hospital for weeks and he kept having to lay his son down, you know, on the altar. Every time they bring him to the hospital, they'd say there's a great chance that he might die in the surgery. And when he told me that, he was crying because I was telling him, it's like, what have you been writing lately? I said, this song, Dear John, I just didn't even put the two together. And then he started crying. He started telling me all the stuff he's been learning by laying his son down all the time. Just laying his son down all the time. And it just dawned on me, I realized, oh, that's what the cross is for. It's like, I can't even get, I can't, I can't get that without carrying that cross. I can glean from it, but I can't get it without carrying it. And so I pray for the crosses that the Lord has for you to carry. Just like Brian shared his tonight, one of his crosses that he's carrying, I pray that you'll carry it well. And that the wisdom of heaven will, will, be, will be burst through you. I pray for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys.